Uh, it's race number six now and trust that everything's gone according to plan thus far. You're running in the exotics and it's all going well and we're on to race number six over 1600 meters. And this is a merit-rated 80 handicap and the time, if all things being equal, everything's going according to plan at Hollywood Bets. Gravel on the poly track should begin at 1500 hours. That's three o'clock. Yeah, this uh, looks to be uh, another uh, one of those races where you can be brave and single out and take a stance and go through the exotics with the minimum spend. But if you're not convinced uh, with the top three in the betting, then you're going to have to play it wide. There's two reruns that we have for you here in race number six. The first one will be horse number one, Cleveland, and we'll follow that up with horse number six, Al's My Daddy. Let's go and have a watch at both those replays. Cleveland up the far side, then comes last of the legend. They followed further back by Silver Master, who tries to get a blow in, and Imperial Master. Romeo's Magic in front, last of the legend to the outside, then Cleveland, who's trying to lay it down, but it's Romeo's Magic. Cleveland, then to the outside, last of the legend. Cleveland, Romeo's Magic, line comes. I think, oh, that's close. Cleveland, I wanted to say Cleveland at the line. Romeo's Magic came right back, Imperial Master third. Then came last of the legend. 100 meters left to go. Master to be on the outside and Peaceful Days trying to revitalize between them. Spring Fling Extreme outside. Els My Daddy by a half. Master to be Victorious Man. Els My Daddy still in front by a neck. Master to be Victorious Man. Spring Fling on the outside. Els My Daddy now the race is on because Spring Fling is charging on the outside. Master to be but Spring Fling. The hits keep coming. Master to be Els my daddy and victorious man another good victory well two very exciting finishes uh, with our reruns of uh, Cleveland and Els my daddy if you look at the field uh, that will come up on screen you'll see from top to bottom I mean Cleveland you can make a case for euphoric won a very good race last time out and that's horse number three uh, this horse, uh, Banner Bridge, number five, Candace Dawson and uh, Luke Ferraro will team up with the visitor. But our good mate, Alistair Cohen and his family, Elsma Daddy is in the race. You go the way down to uh, horse number nine, Monarchy. You can make a case for him. And then uh, if you look at the next page, what about a horse like uh, Just For The Penny as well with Muzi Yeni up for Nathan Cotson, even Seamaster. Uh, with the claim for, although Paulie John got some solid form, so it's a tough race. But the source Cleveland, if you watch that replay from that replay, Ro, uh, Psycho King has come out to win. Romeo's Magic, who had to settle for second that day, came out to win as well. So that form nine is looking bright. If the source takes to the poly track from draw one, I think will be a serious contender. Cleveland, number six, Alzma Daddy, he's had a Three runs now in uh, KZN, and one would think that uh, there'll be no excuses this time round. Uh, he should be ready to put his best foot forward. He's usually a strong front runner on the day, and I think this will uh, suit Anton Marcus, who actually has won on him down in Cape Town. As I look at the race, I try to see where there's pace and uh, if there's any strong front runners in the race. Well, for me, he is uh, the known front runner here. Of course, Cleveland can race up handy as well, the visitor, but we'll see what tactics are adopted there from draw one. But I think Elsma Daddy, uh, over this distance, 1600 meters, now that he's had a few runs here, uh, Anton Marcus uh, should be quietly confident that he can go pretty close with this horse uh, for Garrett Van Zale. Number 10, Monarchy, I mentioned, has to go in as well on his best form and his recent form. Uh, is uh, not too bad, especially his last start behind Galway. We just saw a replay of Galway in the previous race. That was a good run from Monarchy. And then my roughie in the race, don't leave this out of exotics. Number 10, Jess for the penny. Muzieni and Nathan Cotson, uh, we saw them team up with a, a big outsider our last meeting here in KZN. I was called Pinch Me, winning at big odds. Uh, they have a fairly successful strike rate together. But the thing that catches my eye is that at his best, just for the penny, has been rated a 91. And he's come tumbling down and continues to drop now of a 70. And the form lines are looking good as well. If you go to his penultimate start, fire on the track has won. 
Great affairs won, truly wicked has won, and a subsequent winner in Origami. And his last start, I can tell you, that Karulak has come through to win as well. So this is the roughie in the race. I think priced up at around 10 to 1 at the recording of this show. I doubt that will last come race time because he is a nice outsider in this type of field. That's going to be the roughie in the race. I'll tip that for third uh, behind the numbers 1 and 6, but uh, the full top four will be 1, 6, 10 and 5.